When I was seven years old, and my sister was just five, we were, we were playing on top of my bunk bed. And uh, it was my G.I. Joes against my sister's My Little Ponies. And at one point, my sister got really excited, and she leaned backwards, and all of a sudden, she fell off the bed and crashed onto the floor, landing painfully on her hands and knees. Now, I've been charged by my parents to make sure that my sister and I played quietly and safely, for they were just settling down for a long winter's nap. And I saw this cry of pain and injustice welling up in my sister and about to erupt. And I did the only thing my little frantic seven-year-old brain could think to do. I said, Amy, Amy, wait. Did you see how you landed? No human lands like that. You, you're a unicorn. <laughs> now, I must be a Picasso because I peaked and this is a seven-year-old. <laughs> I cheated because I knew that there was nothing my sister wanted more than for the world to realize that she was, in fact, a unicorn. And you could see on her face her brain struggling, conflicted between devoting resources to feeling the pain and suffering and injustice she had just experienced and contemplating her newfound identity as a unicorn. And the latter won out. And my sister had a smile come across her face and she, clam, she climbed back up onto the bunk bed with all the grace of a baby unicorn. <laughs> now what my sister and I had stumbled upon at the age of seven and five was something that was at the vanguard of a scientific revolution two decades later. We we're learning that the brain is a single processor and it has to devote its resources to only certain parts and certain things at a time. As a result, our brains get to choose between the wail of injustice and suffering, or choosing to view the world through the eyes and mindset of a unicorn. In this case, mindset and happiness are a choice, a conscious choice that are improved and made easier by training, and training which has been researched over the past two decades to find absolutely extraordinary ideas. And we're finding that our mindset and the way that we surround ourselves with experiences absolutely shapes the experience of happiness and our pursuit of potential.